Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm looking at OmniPage by Nuance. It's an OCR scanning software with loads of features. So let's have a basic look. So when you start OmniPage 18, this is what you get. You start page, which gives you possible workflows you can start automatically. For example, if I was to select camera image to Excel, so when I click the button, it will then do my camera image to Excel option. So if you've got an image that you've taken with your camera or phone, we can then convert that and send it to Excel. Same goes for all your other options including searchable PDFs, speech file and a Word document. We can also open a file from here, be it a previous scan, or we can scan a document straight from your scanner. Or if you prefer, you can use a digital option from a digital camera. Also we've got guidance and resources and latest news, definitely worth a look at. So what we'll select first is scan document. As I'm using the Octibook Scanner 3600, it will give me that interface to start scanning with. Before I do that, I'm going to close and show you how to set up your scanner. Go to the top of the ribbon and select Tools. Then scroll down to find an option that says Scanner Setup Wizard. Then I want you to find your Twain driver or accessible driver. In this case, I've got my Twain driver there which stands for. If you've got a couple of scanners or all in ones you can always choose remove scanner then add it manually there. And I'm quitting that. So, if I actually press the scan button here I'm going to show you this option called start processing. Now if I click the drop down menu you can actually create workflows. What this means is you can start by clicking the button certain things you want the on the page to do. For example, you might want to take from a PDF or scan document to MS Excel. You might want to take a PDF again to a speech file. Let me show you. So I'm going to select PDF or scanned speech file. Now that's my workflow. So if I press that button, it's now going to ask me where the PDF is I want to convert to a speech file. This saves you setting it up bit by bit. Speeds up the process. So if I click desktop, I'm pretty sure I've got a PDF on there. And there it is science. I'm going to click the science option. You see at the bottom here I've got options, images or documents. So if I click documents you can see it gives me multiple options as well as Word, PowerPoint, rich text format, text and so on. But as I'm looking for an image which a portable document format is, I select science and click OK. And now my workflow is working. What pops up after if I move this to the right going to proofread to check that all the words are correct within that scan. So the first one is science and if we zoom in first option is science. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm going to put ignore. Then go to my next word and then we can change it with a suggestion at the bottom here. So if you need to change click change and then go through your whole document checking it just to proofread it's correct. But for this sample I'm just going to click ignore all and that's proofreading complete. That's going to ask me where I actually want to save it to. And you can see the type of file. It's got WAV file there. I'm going to select to go on my desktop and I'm going to call it Science. And then I'm going to click OK. This article is about the general term. For other uses, see Science Disambiguation. This. That's how easy it is to create text to speech using OmniPage. So that's one option. Let's go back to your workflow options. Camera image to Word could be good, so if you've got a good phone, you could take photos of some text from a book or documents, import them in and convert them to a Word document. Same goes for Excel. What I'm actually going to do, so what I'm going to do is click the drop down menu, and I'm going to go back to 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to go to the scan option. So just do a normal scan from the scanner. Now, if you click the drop down menu, you can see you've got different options. For example, I can scan from load files on my PC or Mac, load digital camera files or if you've got a Dropbox account which I have Evernote, I haven't got SharePoint but if you've got a Nuance Cloud connector what you do is you add your email password and it automatically connect to those accounts and then you can download the files that you want to convert. But I'm going to leave it on scan. I've got a book in the scanner now, I'm using Optibook 3600, I'm going to select the scan button. Again my interface comes up and I'm going to select Auto.
and scans almost done and I'm going to stop loading more pages and have a look at my scan now if you're not happy with that view, if you come up to the view where it says flexible view on the ribbon select your first option classic view and then whatever we actually convert from here with OCR we'll see on the right but I'm just going to go back to my flexi view again so that's a standard scan now I'm ready to actually convert and I've got an option up here that says save to now I don't want to save it to Evernote, I'll actually want to save it to files now we need to create zones to actually see what is text, what is images, what is tables so if I select the automatic that will perform an optical character recognition and convert what is images, text and tables but sometimes it's better to do it manually let me show you come to the left here you have a little option called draw text zones see the bottom right hand corner just hover over and you've got various options so I'm going to left click text you see that crosshair comes up with T I need to create zones around what is text so if I hold the left button there's one again hold the left button I'm going to make that big one zone instead of splitting it again left button until you get all your text last one and I'm not going to worry about the number at the bottom 26 so there's my text zones go back to my zones option and I should also have an image one so if I select click draw graphic zone again create zones around what is images this way when you do OCR it separates them accordingly and the last one as so and again if you had tables you do the same thing click down and select tables you also have draw from zone draw vertical Asian text zones and draw vertical rotate if you've got them rotated so you can get them straight there's an option here as well where it does automatically find the zones so if I click that button just to show you it will analyze itself and then try and pull out the correct zones which you can see it's done identical but sometimes it's good to do it manually if it can't quite find the zones properly sometimes you overlap with the images with the text so you can just separate them using that option I showed you and it will pop up to do a proof recheck and again we need to check so we can see the first word physical look for the correct spelling at the bottom here I see physicals there I will change that and again I want you to go through and do your proof reading but again I'm going to skip this for now and click OK proof read now I'm ready to save it so if I come up to save option and I'm going to save it to a file so I'm going to click save to choose which format you want to save it to I'm going to select text and I'm going to use DOCX and then save it to my desktop and give it a name which I'm just going to call science and click OK. Let's have a look on my desktop and there it is. And as you can see it's standard text. So I'm going to close that and don't save. Also if you click on workflow you can select a new workflow. So you can create your own workflow and how you want to go through the process of converting. So should we just call this workflow my one. So we've got fresh start. So we click next to start creating it. So what's the first thing you do in your workflow? You can choose where you want to start to get your files from. For example, documents, desktop, or any folder you've created. Files of types, this indicates all. It's an MS DOS command. Click OK. So anything from documents and then be listed come down the bottom here you can choose whether or not you want it rotated or no rotation or automatically rotated the correct way up the skew look for facing pages or keep original image resolution I would recommend auto crop as well I would leave unticked got an option here to skip blank pages for example you might have a PDF with multiple pages some blank so you can skip them as well so that's the first task in my workflow click next and there's my second task so I've got load files, recognize images and again I can choose single column no tables or if you're using spreadsheets then make sure you select spreadsheets or legal pleading 
but check the help files just to make sure you're choosing the correct one. I will tend to use automatic if there's no issues. Optimize for process, accuracy or speed, I would leave that on accuracy, always better than speed. The languages here, at the moment you see I've got English but choose which one you want and also if you require professional dictionaries could be a medical document or a legal document in different languages or English then select the one you want also you can just select detect single languages but if you've got multiple languages within a document it's probably better to leave that unticked and you can see here it says look for hyperlinks these are internet addresses so that will keep it as a hyperlink internet address so that's second in my workflow click next again and that's how you work your way through then we've got the proofreading options correct recognition results again you can choose here edit of recognized pages allowed without running proofreader or proofreader to run on recognized pages with editing allowed again it's up to you how you want to work that you want to put that in your workflow click next again you can mark text but I'm going to go back I'm going to click finish and you see up here I've now created that quick workflow so you can create workflows to do certain procedures for you so you don't have to set it up each time you use it really powerful option to use that have a look at that definitely worth using play around with it so we're going to have a look at this little taskbar on the left here we haven't had a look at that yet have we so that will get rid of the background if you don't want it change zone order now if I click that button it will number them the way it's actually going to convert them one two three and so on so if I click on them you can change the actual number you want them converted and if I click it will do it in the order that I'm showing you now by clicking to each zone this enables auto zoning to run after recognition if you require. This will draw ignore zones. I showed you that earlier by creating zones. Enhance image, so if I click that and click OK, it will get rid of your zones but it gives you the option to enhance the image to make it clearer or better there with an editing program. Again if you're familiar with paint and applications like that, same sort of idea. So you get the option on the left and what you change will be shown on the right. So if I drag this to the right we can then add a slight hue, saturation and edit the colours accordingly. And when you're ready you click document ready. Probably worth doing that this image because that looks a bit pasty. Again you can zoom in and zoom out. On the fly zoning, which I showed you at the top, which is automatic zoning, will zone it for you, which is the same as coming up here and selecting automatic there as well. You can rotate your document by clicking OK and keep going round. And you can show hide bottom right hand corner overview of your document there. We also have here a text editor. I'll show you how that works now. So if you click, if you click page image, come up to flexible view and select classic view, and that will now give you two. So what is it? If I hold the left button and drag that more to the middle, so you can see your original on the left and your results on the right. So if I come to automatic again to show you that I've already done that once, but now I'm going to ignore all proofreading, and now you can see a document on the right so let me hold the left button bring that back in for you and you can see how it looks and again after you've done proofing there's anything missing you always click into it and then change what you require by editing it here if need be but that recognition is pretty good also you can click into the pictures if you don't want them and and delete or edit and undo or you can right click frame if you require or box click OK to put a frame around it just to give it a little touch also if you right click you can choose to edit picture with paint and choose program or convert to text box table group to or change to body text I prefer to work in a classic view but I'm just going to go back to the flexible view again which is the main scan so we see now we can scan from a scanner we see now we can scan from a PDF into an audio file. How about just scanning a PDF into a PDF? How about scanning a PDF into a Word document? Now if I come up to my workflow, have I got the option there? There we go, P 
PDF or scanned document to MS Word. The workflow is already there for me. So now if I click on the button, now I don't want to process from my current document that's already open. I don't, so I'm going to click Start Workflow. So it's going to ask me where is my PDF. I've got one on my desktop, and it's called Science again. Click OK. And you can see the workflow taking place automatically at the top. These are predefined ones, but you can change them and create your own ones. Again, I can choose my proofreading options here. I'm going to change that. I'll just put ignore for now. And now I need to save it. Now I need to choose what I'm going to save. So on my desktop again. I'll just call it Science 2. Happy with Microsoft Word text? Absolutely. So I'm just going to click OK. Let my workflow finish. Not bad at all. And that's how we just convert an image to a text document. I'm going to go back to Classic View, which I kind of like to work best with, and drag up. Let's have a quick look at the top as well. Starting from File. So New is the same starting in New Scan. You can open an, an omni page document you might have already created. Save and even get page from scan. Load from Dropbox, which is the same as the startup menu. Change all your formatting options in your scans. Tools. I've shown you the scanner set up wizard. Saving preferences would be useful as well. And there's your output converters. As you can see, you've got quite a lot there to choose from covers absolutely most of them. Also in tools that will be useful is user dictionary. So I'm going to select custom Microsoft Office set as current. So when it does my proofreading it will use that as my dictionary. Click close. Also in tools you've got built in sewn templates which I haven't created any. We have process, easy loader, the workflows I showed you earlier where you're getting your scan from, what kind of OCR you want to perform, where you want to export to, rotate the image if required, and workflow results, and then your window choices, classic, flexible, or you can even choose custom views to have a different view if you require. I've kind of got a text editor on, but you could choose easy loader or thumbnails, for example, on the left here. Total control how you want that to look.